Okay folks, it's no secret that the sun's been active lately. Here you can see the M and two X-class flares that we've had the last few days. Now each of these events came out of the same solar active region. And you can see it here on the GOES. It's solar active region 11283 and here's a close-up of it right here. These shots are from the SDO AIA. These are all of the last X flare that we had. This is one of the streamers with which you're probably most familiar, measuring the density. And you can see the coronal mass ejection coming off there uh, towards the one uh, or two o'clock hour. One of the bad things about this is, is it doesn't usually show more than one CME, and we know that the two came off at the same time. This streamer is the velocity, and if you look in the middle, uh, you can see that little yellow bubble which hits Earth around the 11th or the 12th. That's the solar wind stream from the coronal hole that was facing Earth a few days ago. We'll probably bring uh, solar winds in the 500 to 600 kilometers per second range. As you can see, a little bit of uh, uh, an ejection over there to the left, and coming out of the top right would be the two uh, CMEs that followed our X flares. Uh, it makes you think, well, what's turning around that limb and going to be facing the Earth in the next couple of days? Here on the Lasco C3, you can see it again. Uh, there is uh, some activity coming uh, out from over there on the left. So we'll go back to the Stereo B, which from that other shot uh, was over on the left, to take a look at what's going to be turning the limb and facing the Earth. We can see a number of solar active regions and uh, either two coronal holes that are fairly small or one large one. This is a picture of the uh, one of the solar active regions that will be turning a limb. Moving on to Alanin, NASA has finally cleaned up these Stereo B HI1 images. Now you can follow Alanin there with the cursor, but basically we're going to show you that uh, whatever this this flash is that uh, obviously was not an explosion in space, uh, once it disappears, which you will see here, Alanin is still intact. Uh, not to say it hasn't broken up. Uh, that very uh, very may well be true. Uh, it may be in pieces, but it certainly hasn't disintegrated, hasn't exploded, and there is still definitely a visual there. As we zoom in a bit more so you can get a better picture, watch as the flash goes and try to follow the cursor. You'll see that the comet moves in contrast with the other uh, stars in the background. You can see it coming right on top of that other star right there, and you're going to see it move out to the left. As you can clearly see, uh, there's no way to tell if it's in pieces or still a hole, but there's definitely still something there and tracking on the trajectory. Finally, uh, Keith Hunter took a look at some of the uh, Nibiru and dwarf star theories, debunked a few of them, but he did uh, give astrotometry a good shout out, especially regarding uh, something he did find in our, in our solar system. That red shot, the shot of the red planet or star or whatever it is from the South Pole Telescope, that's legit and it's in our solar system. We'll put the link below. Enjoy everybody.